Our team of THV 11 meteorologists is always looking to break down complex science information so you can better understand the weather. But sometimes your questions aren't just about the forecast. THV 11 meteorologist Corrales Ortiz finds out what the science says when it comes to cold weather and your health. We all have probably been scolded by a parent about sleeping with wet hair or going outside with it because it can make you sick. But can you really catch a cold? Colds are actually caused by viruses. Colds and flus are much more common in the fall and winter seasons since the virus thrives in cool and dry conditions. And since people tend to be indoors more often, it can increase their chances of being exposed to germs. Hygiene plays more of a role in this. The common cold can be transmitted via infected surfaces or people through bodily fluids via sneezing or coughing. Just do what you normally do to prevent getting germs. The CDC always suggests washing your hands frequently. Being outside with wet hair will just make you feel a bit chilly, but as long as you practice good hygiene and stay healthy, it'll help decrease your chance of getting sick. We could also tie in the misconception that your health will suffer if you exercise outdoors in the cold. The body does work harder in harsh climates to produce heat and keep you warm. When exercising in the cold, your body can lose that heat much faster. Working out in the cold though is no different than working out in temperate conditions. Just make sure you bundle up and wear lots of layers to keep that warmth. So again, can having wet hair cause a cold? The science tells us no. With THB 11, I'm Corrales Ortiz. If you have any other type of weather related misconception or question, folklore, anything, you want Corrales to explain it, she says, I'm here, I'll do it. Just send her an email at cortiz at thv11.com or just reach out to her on social media. She'll always find out what the science says.